Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, we are talking about pre-wipe. As you see by the title, this has been one of the longest pre-wipes that we have ever had. I remember back in 12.6 that it lasted maybe 30, 36 hours. It was a little over a day. They put raiders on all the maps. Then the next day, they were there for a couple of hours. Boom, game wiped. That was it. Now we're on like day seven or, or six, six or seven at this point of pre-wipe. We haven't had the one ruble event. We have not had raiders on all maps. We haven't had bosses on all maps. We haven't had goons 100% spawn rate, anything like that. So I'd say we're not even close. I think we're still looking at maybe two to five more days until the game wipes. I'm kind of leaning towards the 26th. We'll see what happens in the next few days, but I'm kind of leaning towards the 26th. I was big on the 22nd. It didn't happen, obviously. So now I'm kind of thinking 26th, day after Christmas, little Timmy gets his brand new gaming PC, unwraps, buys Tarkov, ready to go for the new wife. But who knows? Maybe it could be longer than that. Maybe even into January. I don't know at this rate, man. Like, we are seven days deep. This is one of the longest pre-wipes we've ever had. So do me a favor. Make sure you're dropping a like. Make sure you're subscribing to the channel. For all my subs, we have a little cinematic thing dropping later today. It took me about an hour to make. It's heavily inspired by the Zarachi announcement that Battlestate Games did. Uh, it's just a little cinematic thing. I added some sound effects, some music, some heartbeats, a couple other sound effects. You just got to watch the video, man. That'll come out later today. It should be titled something like uh, Patch.13 Wipe Trailer uh, Made by Aces EFT. Something like that. I think you guys will like it. it. You know, I'm not Christopher Nolan, so it's not like Battlestate Games level production. But, you know, like I said, it took me an hour for four minutes. I thought it was pretty cool. You know, maybe it's cringy. I don't know. Let's hop back into the video, man. Let me show you what the event was today. It's nothing crazy. Uh, they removed all flea market tags. So if you want to list a bandage for 10 million, you can. You can see my boy uh, E70X here has a bandage listed at 2 million. So basically, he paid like 1500 to list that for 2 million. Usually, if you would list an item for this much, you would be hit with a tax that's about 1.25, 1.5 times more than what you're actually listing it for. That's just to prevent real money trading and all that other nonsense. Uh, basically, you can never make money having shit like this, uh, this high priced. It's just, it's not something you can do. There's, it's to the example of listing like ammo boxes or something. I think like a five pack of rip ammunition that has like some sort of outrageous fee on it. If you try to list it as the five pack, you know, just certain items in this game have little triggers like that. And, um, you know, I think croutons are a big one as well. When everybody needs them to craft the cans of meat, you can only list them for like that 20 to 30 K range. And then the tax is too much. And then if you list them for any cheaper, it's still not enough. It's weird. There's little margins in the game. Now that's gone. And that's all pre-wipe is today. You know, for today's specific event, that's all you're getting. You can see that the fee is eliminated, you know, 1500. That's a drop in the bucket. I think today has been the first event of the string of events that has been i would say really streamer friendly and i'll talk about that a little more in detail usually pre-wipes uh with raiders and bosses and all that shit are streamer friendly when i say streamer friendly i'm kind of saying casual not friendly or unfriendly uh this entire pre-wipe has been extremely casual friendly and i think this one today this little mini event uh a lot of streamers are going to be getting some donations because of how expensive shit is you know if landmark wants some green stems and a little bit of high pen ammo he can just be like chat i'm listing 25 bandages up right now for five mil a piece go nuts and then you know tony's uh loaded up for the day same with uh dr lupo you know i've seen him do stuff like that before where he like lists something for super expensive like chat buy this and then they go and buy it you know stuff like that so i think today is going to be extremely streamer friendly i think the other days haven't been as streamer friendly the melee event was pretty cool actually uh thought that was a decent event from bsg for the day but uh i want to just talk about why i think this has been the longest pre-wipe that we have ever had and i think there are a couple of reasons number one pre-wipe is about having fun in tarkov and tarkov isn't always fun and if you think it is always fun, then there must be something fucked up with you. Because let me tell you, it's my favorite game. But at the same time, I know damn well it's not always fun, all right? It is It is very rage-inducing sometimes. Um, so I think pre-wipe is supposed to be fun every single time it happens. And I think sometimes with just raiders and one ruble events, it might not be as fun for the casual players. I think this has been an extremely, extremely casual-friendly pre-wipe. And not only because of the events that are actually happening in the event, 
but at the same time, the length of the actual entire event being pre-wiped and the mini events happening every single day. So, you know, if, you know, Timmy can't get on the first three days, he still has another four days of pre-wipe ahead of him so far anyway. You know, we're on like day seven. He still has another four days that he can play and experience pre-wipe and everything that happened the last three days, he can still do. And I think that's pretty cool. Um, you know, casuals, definitely, I would say, get the short end of the stick for Escape from Tarkov. And I definitely think this pre-wipe event has been like Battlestate Games saying, hey, here's some stuff for you guys to do. Go nuts, have fun, do whatever the fuck you want. And we'll give it to you for, you know, 10 days, 14 days, whatever. So everybody gets a chance to play the event. It's not just a two-day thing. And at the same time, I think Battlestate is definitely accommodating for the holidays. You know, people might not have off every single day. So they, you know, are extending it longer so everybody can find some time to play. That's just my opinion. Uh, I do have another theory as well. Battlestate Games, at least from my, my knowledge, has not had a pre-wipe event this long. So they could be doing this for solely data. You know, they might not give a fuck about the casual experience, the streamer experience, the sweat experience. They might not give a fuck. They might just be dragging this out for 10, 14 days because they want the info. They have to do something at least once to get the feedback on whatever they did. It's just like when they disabled the flea market in last pre-wipe or two pre-wipes ago, they completely disabled the flea market. They had to test it. They had to see what the feedback was. And if players didn't like it, okay, they know not to do that anymore. I think this could potentially be, hey, let's see if the players like 14 days of pre-wipe. If they don't, then we'll go back to two days. If they do like it, then of course we will do these long pre-wipes in the future. So it could just be for data collection and getting the feedback. That's very, very possible. Me personally, I fucking hate it, man. I just want the game to wipe. I want pre-wipe two days long. Let's get into the next wipe. Let's get it going. Let's start grinding. I'm ready. I've been ready for the last seven days. I think the hype's dying for me. Like, I have just been playing days gone for the last five days single player game because I'm bored out of my fucking mind waiting for Tarkov to wipe and I have nothing else to do. It, it's just feeling like it's dragging for me personally, but that's just me. I want to know your experience. To all my more casual, you know, even if you do play a lot, you might still be considered, you know, somewhat of a casual player. It, you know, me personally, I am not a casual by any means. When the game wipes in a month, I can play 200 hours. A lot of people can't do that. So you guys who are on my channel, you would consider yourselves a casual uh, I would consider a lot of my fan base casuals because I do the money guides and money guides really help the casual players who don't have the time to grind loot, to grind gear. Doing money guides helps them out. So I would say we do have a fair amount of casuals here. Let me know in the comments. Has this been your favorite pre-wipe? And everybody who hasn't played a pre-wipe before, if this is your first wipe coming up, of course, I still want your feedback. Drop in the comments. Have you been having fun? But if you guys have been through multiple wipes before, and you're somewhat of a casual player. You know, if you have over 4,000 hours, feel free to comment too. Your opinion is very valid, but I'm mainly looking at casuals here. Let me know. Has this been your favorite pre-wipe to date? Or are you just sick of it like me? Do you just want the game to wipe already? Let me know how you guys are feeling down in the comments below. I already told you how I feel, man. Like I said, we got that little cinematic thing coming out later today. Make sure you're keeping your eyes peeled for that. Uh, once the game does wipe, we'll be doing the first seven. That's going to be the only content for the first week. And then uh, we will start two videos a day after the seventh day of wipe. And uh, we'll just go two videos a day until I get burnt out, like every single wipe. And hopefully Streets of Tarkov keeps me around longer because I am so fucking excited to fight in a city on this game. That's like honestly all I could ever ask for. And, and it has been three years in the making and I am fucking hype. Uh, might be even longer than three years. That's just kind of when I got put on the map for Tarkov. So... Guys, that's going to be it for me, man. You know that we just had the two-year anniversary of Aces EFT. Just want to say thank you again, man. Thank you to every single one of you who stopped by the channel, who subscribed. And uh, especially if you're making it this far, man, I do appreciate every single one of you. And, uh, you know, just for viewing the video this long, I don't even care if you don't even leave a like. I mean, make sure you're leaving a like. But, you know, even if you don't and you listen this long, I still appreciate you, man. So make sure you guys are uh, hopping on pre-wipe, checking everything out. The Melee event was pretty cool. And, uh, you know, they are doing some cool stuff. They got the stems and everything else that are uh, buffed out the ass and shit. So there is some stuff happening and going on. That is pretty fun. But I think uh, we still got a few more days of pre-wipe ahead. 
Let me know how you guys feel in the comments down below. Leave a like, subscribe, sponsor the equipment description below. It's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm out.